Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. And this tutorial is mainly for uh, my Etsy shop customers who have purchased one of my editable templates. This uh, tutorial will show you how to edit those in Canva. But if you found this on YouTube and you have another template that you want to edit, most likely this will work for you too, uh, especially if the template is a Canva template. Or if it's a regular PNG or PDF, you should be able to follow along here and edit as well. But again, most of this is for my Etsy customers, so let's just jump right into that. When you download your um, purchase, you'll get this PDF file here um, with the full instructions. And it starts out by thanking you for your purchase. Um, yes, thank you. Thank you again. And then it's got a link here to your editable designs. So you can click this to open up your designs, or you can right click it and open in a new tab, which I recommend that way you can kind of reference back to this, um, to this document that has your instructions on it. Okay, so here we are in a new tab, and it says a template was created and shared with you. Use the template. Okay, so go ahead and click this, use template. And then it's going to ask you to sign in, or sign up. Uh, Canva is free, so you know you don't have to worry about it costing anything. And it's also um, an online hosted site, so you're not downloading anything to your computer, which makes it also safe to use. So go ahead and sign up with your email or sign in if you already have an account. I'm going to sign in here real quick. Okay, so now that I'm signed in, it has taken me to the designs that I can edit. You can scroll through your pages here. You see the first letter that has the full letter written, and you would just add a name. Here is your naughty warning certificate, your nice list certificate, and then here's a blank letter if you want to just fully customize the letter yourself. Um, so let's see how this works. I'm going to start down here with the blank letter. To add in some text, you can come over here and click text, and then add a little bit of body text, and it will give you a text box or... Uh, you can just click on your document and simply type a T on your keypad and it will also pull in a text box. Then you just work it like any other text box. Uh, you come up here and you pick a font and then you start typing your name or whatever it is you want to type. Let's see here. Okay, so it's pretty small to begin with, but I can resize it in a few different ways. I can drag my box, or I can come over here and I can pick what size I want it to be. Okay, then I can size my box. I want to make sure everything fits inside this white part, so I've got my box. I'm just going to drag this in and make sure everything fits. Um, let's see if I want to add some more words. Okay, so that's pretty big. Um, I don't want all this space in between my in between my lines, so I can come up here to spacing, and I can pull in my line height and make all that closer together. Um, I can scooch out my letter spacing if I want more space in between the letters. I can take this; it's centered right now. If I click here it's left justified. If I click here, it's full width justified. Click again, it's right justified. Click again and we're back to centered. So those are the different things that you can do there. Um, fonts. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look, look at this. And I'm going so fast it can't even catch up with me. And what are we, still in the B's? Okay, so literally hundreds of fonts to choose from. If you see this, now mine is grayed out because I'm logged in and I do have this pro account, but if you see, yours will be a gold crown. If you see a gold crown, it's not free. So you won't be able to use that font without paying for your edits. But you can see there are so many here that don't have that gold crown. Um, let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and put this, into here. That's one of the fonts that I've used. Oh, I forgot to turn my phone off. Sorry, guys. That's one of the fonts I've used a lot throughout these um, templates. 
I am fell English is what that one is if you want to match some of that. Okay, so I've got that here. I want to change the color now. I've got some quick colors down here it lets me choose from. You right here will see these document colors. These are the colors I've used within the document that you can easily pick and choose from so that you can match. So you want this red to be matched to his little bag here. Or just come click the red and it will match it to his bag. Say you want it matched to the green. Okay, come click the green and it will match it to the green that's on the file. So you can kind of quickly and easily, um, or even the brown, a little Rudolph here, you can, you can match it to him. You can quickly and easily match the colors by doing that. You can choose, you know, whatever color, quick color you want here. You will not see this. This is my brand template. Um, it won't be on yours. Or you can pick your own color. You can come up here and you can slide this color bar and then you can move this guy around and you see it's literally just changing with whatever I'm doing here. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with color. You can also add effects. If you come over here, you can shadow and you see it put the shadow underneath there. I can change the color of the shadow to pink. I can pull up the transparency of the shadow so it's a lot more visible. We can um, we can lift it all. It makes it look like it's actually coming off the page. We can make it a neon effect and you can change the intensity of your neon down here. You can make the words all hollow if you want and you can change the thickness of them of the outer line. So there's really just a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff that you can do. Okay, let me get up, go away box. <laughs> let me get up here. So these are sideways, um, but they, they're gonna work the same way. So I'm gonna add in my son's name, Colin. He's gonna be on the nice list. Yay, Colin. And I'm gonna pick a font. I don't know. Sure, I'll just choose this one for now. And I'm going to just make it bigger here so I can see what I'm doing to work with. Okay. These little things are going to come up underneath. These arrows will let you rotate. And you can see over there on the side, it's degree. You want to rotate it until it gets to exactly 90 degrees. And then you just put it in here. Set it down. And watch as I move it up and down, it tells me when it's centered. Did you see that pink line come in? That's because it is centered in the document now. So I know that's exactly where I want it. Um, I want it to nudge down just a tiny bit though because I want my L's, the bottom of my L's and all my words to be touching this line here. But if I do it by hand, it, it's not letting me quite get where I want. So I'm gonna click the arrows on my keypad now. I'm gonna click the right arrow because we are actually moving this to the right. And you see it nudged it just a tiny bit. Um, so he's where I want him now. And you can size it up or down, you know, according to what you want it to look like here. Um, I would like it to have a little more spacing between the letters so it takes up more of the line. So I'm just gonna pull out, and you see what's happening here? That's because this box isn't long enough. So I made my box bigger. And now I need to go center it again. There's my center. Use my arrow to put it on the line. And I want to make it this color red. So I'm going to click my color box. And I'm going to come find that red. Okay, so Colin is on the nice list. What if I also want to put him on the naughty warning? Well, I could do all of that all over again. Or I could just click it and control D for duplicate. It made me another one. I'm just going to grab it and move it up here to my naughty warning and push him down where he belongs on the line and that's it. So we're done. Those are the edits that you can do. Um, I mean, there there is way more stuff if you want to add in um, anything of your own. There's like stickers over here if I type Christmas. You know, you can add in a Christmas tree or a Santa hat or this little Rudolph, you know, whatever. But again, watch for this. If it says pro, um, it's not going to be free. But you can filter this 
to only free objects, and then everything you see will be free. So you could add any of this stuff in, uh, let's say I want to add this Rudolph. I click him and he's automatically in there. You can change his colors however you'd like, or you can hit the backspace to delete him. Um, gingerbread house, same thing. You can change these colors however you'd like. You can resize it, you can do whatever you want with it. Tons of edits that you can do. If you do happen to make a mistake while you're editing, um, you can backspace to get it out, or you can just hit this back arrow here and it will do, undo the last thing that you did. So I had moved that and resized it and it undid it. If you go back too far, just click the forward arrow and it'll take you right back where you were. Okay, um, saving. It all saves in real time. It saves every five seconds. So anything you do is pretty much saved in real time. You don't have to worry about losing your work. Um, let me just add Colin's name up here to the top of this and size it how I want it, that's too big. Okay, so, dear Colin, he's right where I want that. Okay, so let's say I'm all done. I am ready to download these so I can print them out. You're gonna click this download arrow, and it's automatically gonna suggest that you save it as a PDF, but if you click into here, you can save it as a PNG, JPG, PDF, you know, whatever it is you want here. I'm just gonna come click PNG. I do want to download one, two, three pages. I don't need the last one. So I'm just gonna click the pages that I want. Done, download. And it will save it to wherever things go on your computer. And um, this is just another little ad. It's asking you to, you know, print them out or whatever it is that you might want to do, but you don't need to do that. They're saved on your computer and you can print them on your home printer or send them to Kinko's or Walmart or whatever it is that you want to print them on. That's it. That's all we do. Thanks guys.